What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for a WWE Battleground Predictions video, which is coming up this Sunday. So, um, hit the thumbs up on my video, check out my t-shirts below, and um, go to sonsofwrestling.com, which is now finally live, guys. Um, check out all the cool shit on there. Thanks for all the support. Thank you all. It's awesome. The amount of support I get from you guys, it's really cool. It makes me do what I do for you. So, on to the predictions. Battleground. This year, second year that they've done Battleground. I was at Battleground last year live. Pretty cool show. It was in Buffalo, New York. And, uh, well, this year, let's see what happens. We start off with a pre-show, Cameron versus Naomi. I think we all know who's going to win this. My pick would be Naomi. And um, I really don't think they could even do anything to further extend this storyline with Cameron if she was to pick up the victory because really she just can't go in the ring. Naomi has just excellent and she's moving on to that next tier becoming eventually the Divas Champion. That's my prediction. Naomi. And in no particular order, the Usos versus the Wyatts in a tag team title match. Um, this is a two out of three falls match and I do predict the Usos to retain here and because the Wyatts really, I don't believe that they need any belts. They're excellent without them. It doesn't really matter if they hold them. So I see the Usos retaining here. They have been impressing me, like I have said lately. And um, I was a huge fan of the Usos a few years ago. And I was hoping that they were tag team champions in 2012. And here we are, 2014. They finally are. And they, they did get a little stale, but they're picking up steam here again and I believe that they're going to retain comment below who do you think is going to win this Wyatt's or the Usos and why that's the big thing and then we'll all talk about that and see what's going on and then uh, if AJ Lee versus Paige in a Divas Championship match and I do see AJ Lee retaining here and a lot of CM Punk chants and CM Punk, I seen on Twitter, had thanked everyone, and there was a thank you, CM Punk, uh, something trending worldwide. But it, yeah, his, whatever. His contract ends in two days. So then, and, and I don't understand why do they have to relate CM Punk during matches and everything? It's been six months, people. CM Punk, man, yeah, he was pretty cool and shit. He, uh, you know, he did his run. But, man, he wasn't happy with working anymore. We've all encountered that in our lives. And, shit, I quit a couple jobs in my life. Done, over, out of there. So, let the guy have some fucking peace. That's what he wants. Then we move on to Jack Swagger versus Rusev. Now, this is turned into a... Um, a Rocky IV type feud here. You have the Russian, the American, and really, really goddamn awesome build up there. You have just started putting in this, actually f flipping swagger to babyface instantly. I mean, seriously, when that did happen, within five seconds, the crowd just flipped. Holy shit, chance for Jack Swagger when they were all booing him for months, and for a year. Shit. And, uh, well, anyway, this is going to be a good, fun feud, but Rusev will go over. Jack Swagger just is not going to win this. Rusev is just too early, and he has yet to have a loss. I don't see him losing here. What do you guys think? Will Rusev get his first loss, or will he go on to be undefeated here as really he's a strong beast so that's the way I see 
Rusev going, and eventually we'll get to the part where he does lose. But I don't see that happening until, I don't know, uh, around Survivor Series time frame, somewhere around there, in the fall. And then uh, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. We're not going to get a winner here. DQ somehow, some way, shape, or form. But it'll end with a Dean Ambrose being beat down again because I do not believe that they're gonna, that that they will allow Seth Rollins to look weak at all while he holds that briefcase up until that moment when he is the next guy to lose cashing in. So that's just my beliefs, guys. What do you guys think? Who's gonna win? Will Seth Rollins even tonight maybe cash in? Now that's a question. Will Seth Rollins cash in tonight during the Fatal 4 -way? Would be probably the best time. I mean, you got four guys in there destroying each other. Champion comes out. Will be weak at the moment in Seth Rollins as long he, as he is early in the card. That's a possibility. So let's find out and comment below. Then we have the 20-man Battle Royal. This is for the IC Championship because Wade Barrett was injured. Bad news Barrett, that is, now. And uh, he was stripped of the title immediately when we found out he wasn't going to be back for a few months. And we have Del Rio, Big E, Bo Dallas, Cesaro. Cesaro's my guy right now, I think. Curtis Axel, Diego, Dolph Ziggler, Fandango, Heath Slater, Kofi Kingston, Rob Van Dam, and our Truth Ryback, Sheamus, which is another favorite to try to unify the belts, Sin Cara, the great Kali with his two moves, Miz, the shit face, money face, I mean, and Titus O'Neil, Xavier Woods, and the YouTube sensation, Zack Ryder. Sorry, Zack, you're not winning. Xavier Woods, nope. Titus O'Neil, nope. Miz, money face, you're out. Kali, sorry, you're done. Sin Cara, man, nice seeing you. Ryback, nope, you lost. Our truth it's been a few years. RVD, I wish, but no. Nope. Kofi Kingston, never. Heath Slater, adios. Fandango, dance your ass out of there. Dolph Ziggler, ooh, I'm going to hold you there. I'm going to hold Dolph Ziggler, and I'm holding Sheamus. Diego, <laughs> adios. And uh, Curtis Axel, you're out. Cesaro, holding you up here. Bo Dallas, I'm holding you up here. Biggie, you're out. Del Rio, I'm holding you up here. So, I'm going to break that down. Del Rio, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus, that uh, RVD, you know, yeah, RVD's gone. So, um, Sheamus. Like I say, I think right now at the moment that they're trying to push for you to believe that they're going to unify the belts. But this is the reason why I think Sheamus is not going to win to unify these belts. Because in a couple of months, you have Night of Champions. You unify these belts, you will only have the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. That's two belts in the one. The Divas Championship the Tag Team Championship, and then this unification. So you would only have four on the card. I don't believe that's going to happen. So Sheamus is gone. And then um, Dolph Ziggler, sorry man, you're out. And um, let's see here, Del Rio, you're gone. Bo Dallas, Cesaro, hmm. I think it'll be something cool at the end, and, uh, well, Zaro, Cesaro is victorious here, comes out as the IC champion, and what is the deal with Paul Heyman? Did Paul Heyman drop Cesaro? What's the deal? 
Will we have some kind of babyface turn with Cesaro soon? As I said for about a month or so, have you noticed when Cesaro went to go to do the big swing and the crowd wants it, he says no. That big swing is going to be delivered to Paul Heyman when he does turn babyface. Set it here. What do you guys think? Will that happen? Cesaro putting Paul Heyman into the big swing and eventually sparking that feud with Brock Lesnar. That's just my prediction, guys. What do you think? Comment below. And then we have a Bray Wyatt versus Jericho. Jericho is back and awesome right now. He no ring rust, none of that good shit, but he is there to put over Bray Wyatt even more. And Bray Wyatt picks up the victory here. And then on to the main event, unless they throw in a couple other matches, which probably will happen, it will be the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the champion John Cena, don't wear the belt around your neck because it looks stupid, versus Randy Orton, versus Kane with the wig, versus Roman Reigns. Now, my first pick clearly is Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has the momentum of a fucking fleet of ships, a fucking train just hauling ass. He has a rocket full of fuel. He is hauling ass, but I don't believe the setup is there for Roman Reigns to be a champion yet. I wish it happened, and I think that they should have done it because putting Roman Reigns into that position against the authority would be an awesome storyline for the next few months leading up to, you know, you got SummerSlam, then you have Knight Champions, and then you have, you, you, you go into your Survivor Series, and Survivor Series, really, you could tag up a bunch of people, maybe Daniel Bryan will start to, you know, be back around that time frame, but it would be great, but they can ride it out too. John Cena is my prediction here to retain. And like I said, like we've all seen the poster of John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. That does not need to be for the title at SummerSlam. So maybe it could be Roman Reigns here. I just don't foresee them taking it off John Cena. I really don't. I wish they would. Really do. Oh, and here's another thing. What do you guys think of this? Because the whole who's the, the greatest champion of all time they want to say John Cena is so he would have to lose the belt to win it one more time to become tied with Ric Flair and then he would have to lose it one more time to win it back to become 17 time WWE World Heavyweight Champion to be the number one guy so I think that will be what happens in his career he will be so maybe they will take a quick loss for him take the straps off around his damn neck like a scarf. Jesus. <laughs> That's just the way I see it. John Cena retaining here, and I hope it's Roman Reigns. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really do. What do you guys think? Roman Reigns, well, if he was to win, it's very early in his career. I get that. Where do we go if he does win? Because, I mean, seriously, you already got the feud with John Cena. This could be a nice-ass build all the way into WrestleMania, like a Hogan Warrior WrestleMania 6. It would be awesome. So, uh, maybe you could have a t couple title fucking turnarounds with the two. Do it. I say do it. Ride Roman Reigns. But, for prediction-wise, I'm going with John Cena, guys. Sorry to piss all you fuckers off. <laughs> but... Uh, that's just the way I see it, guys. Should be a fun pay-per-view, and um, I can't wait for it, actually. I mean, the, this Sunday coming up, shit. Battleground. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Rob Kimball Brand. Follow all my friends, too. Andre Corbio, Big Ray, The Big Show. Just get behind all these guys, great guys putting out content, and it's a lot of work, just so you know. All right, guys, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.